I'm Jennifer Lepore, Online Education Manager here at Artist Network, and I have with me in the Artist Network TV studio, Brian Keeler. Thanks for being here, Brian. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure You're to be welcome. here. I'm glad you've enjoyed it, because we sure have. We've been shooting some oil painting videos over the last several days, and um, they're going to be coming out in 2013. We've got one on brilliant light, one on dramatic skies, and the other one is a nocturnal landscape. They're all very exciting and teach a wide range of great techniques, so I think everybody should check those out. But while Brian's been here, we've gotten to know a little bit more about him, and we'd like you to know some more as well. So I actually am not quite sure of your background in art and how you got started um, with an interest in painting. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, I'd be glad to. Uh, I um, got my initial um, uh, interest from my father, who was a, a part-time painter. He studied at Parsons School of Design in New York City during World War II. Um, so he was always painting, so I was around it. And then I, um, I went to a, a junior college and had some great teachers there, uh, Keystone College in uh, Pennsylvania near Scranton. And then I went to a, a, a real art school in uh, York, Pennsylvania. It was called the York Academy of Arts. It's uh, no longer there, but it was there for about 40 years from uh, 1940 to 1980. And it was uh, purely uh, studio courses, uh, and uh, it was uh, all realistic painters that were uh, teaching there. So it was perfect uh, for what I wanted, uh, as opposed to a, a university where uh, I've had friends that have gone to universities and they've learned absolutely nothing about painting because it's all aesthetics and, and theory, and it's too open. Whereas the school that I went to, there was it was uh, a real uh, uh, rigorous training and. Uh, glad that uh, I was able to uh, attend there. And how did you get some um, background in all of the art history while you've been here? Um, it seems like not only are you inspired by artists through the ages, but it seems like you know quite a bit just about um, a whole wide variety. I know you mentioned Rembrandt and Da Vinci and Wyeth, and are those folks that inspire you, or, or how did you get interested in Yes, uh, I guess it was gradual. Uh, we, I guess everybody had some art history courses mm -hmm. in, in college, and uh, I initially wasn't uh, too interested, but it, it, it's become a real passion of mine over the years, especially uh, 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 the past 10 or 20 years. Uh, and so I read about it all the time. I'm always reading about it, and I'm always going to exhibits and shows. and. Uh, and I first started going to uh, Italy in uh, 1992, so this is the sort of the 20th anniversary, and it became a, um, a, a sort of a mission of mine to uh, to look for uh, art, which isn't uh, difficult. But I had some specific painters in mind that I went to see, and Caravaggio was one of them. And then I've since uh, uh, I've discovered many other painters there that I didn't know about. I guess we all sort of know about uh, Rembrandt. Uh, uh, not a, he's not Italian, but uh, we have certain famous painters that we're familiar with, like Leonardo da Vinci and Raphael. And uh, so I, I was familiar with sort of the, um, the, uh, the main artists, but I've discovered uh, dozens, if not hundreds, of other Renaissance artists. And each little town in Italy has treasures in it. You can just be walking around and, and find a, a stumble onto a church that has a, a famous painting in it. So it's, the whole country is really a treasure trove of uh, art history. And so uh, it's great for a painter, especially for a realistic painter, because that's where uh, realistic painting uh, commenced, was in uh, Italy. And there's some special events that happened in Italy, the discovery of perspective. And when I take my students there, I, I go to this exact spot in Florence in front of the uh, Duomo, where perspective was first demonstrated by Brunelleschi. And he's the uh, uh, architect who built the famous uh, dome that it's right in front of. But it's sort of almost like a hollowed spot for painters to go oh and there's so many other things that were uh, uh, first developed and uh, so it's where realistic painting really came back into its own after classical times and ancient Rome so it had this rebirth is what uh, the Renaissance means so it's uh, wonderful for a, a painter to go there to really uh, immerse in the tradition. Oh, it must be. What a wonderful <laughs> feeling to be standing right there. Yeah, yeah, and the, just to, and all the, the incredible amount of history in Florence, and uh, you know, you're standing on a, a street where all these things happened, and, and when you read about it or hear about it, and it's, like, well, I was just walking down that street where, uh, you know, Raphael and Michelangelo. In fact, today is the 500th anniversary, exactly, of the unveiling of the Sistine Chapel. And, oh, wow. Yeah, and November 1st of uh, 2000, or uh, 
112. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. That's a fun fact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, you had mentioned um, that you paint in other mediums besides oil. And I was noticing that a lot of what you're talking about and just the way you looked and your brush was looking when you were putting on your oil paint, a lot of times it reminded me of pastel. Oh. So what other, you do pastel? I do pastel mm -hmm. and I've done uh, quite a few watercolors, mm -hmm. not uh, recently, but uh, acrylic paintings and I've done uh, quite a few prints too, uh, uh, meaning uh, fine art prints that are actually gone through a, a press, that type of prints, etchings and lithographs. In fact, my first time to Italy was at a print workshop near Urbino and I studied with this guy that was doing it in the traditional method and so that was a, a great um, opportunity. But uh, pastels were my first uh, medium that I started doing portraits with uh, when I was in high school and I've continued doing them uh, in landscapes also and I had some great teachers. But my uh, a lot of people say that my uh, uh, paintings uh, have a look of pastel and the application is very similar and uh, so there's a, a crossover between the pastel and the oil. I found that to be very exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with, uh, you mentioned a workshop that uh, you do regularly in Italy. Are there workshops that you teach here um, in the U.S. or do you regularly teach any classes? Uh, not regularly, but I do teach classes, uh, at workshops for um, arts organizations or uh, sometimes museums. Well, asked me to come in to be part of their art education. And I taught at a college for a couple of years. And, um, and then through uh, in Pennsylvania, they have this uh, arts in uh, high schools. And I did that for quite a few years. I think it was nine years where I'd go into high schools and, and um, assist with the students or lead them into specific projects. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Do you find yourself going in any new directions now? I know that you're um, going out and you've got some gallery openings that you're going to be attending soon, and I know you've been in several galleries in the past. Do you find your work going in any new direction as a result of that or just um, from a personal desire? Yeah, I'm oftentimes drawn in different directions, but I'm sort of uh, focusing uh, lately on uh, Americana. It seems to be what I'm sort of known for is uh, uh, landscapes of the region, like I've done a lot of other types of things. One of the influences of um, Italy is uh, taking ancient myth and uh, and reinterpreting it into a modern setting, uh, taking these allegorical themes and sort of putting them into a, a contemporary uh, landscape or something, which is what the Renaissance painters did also. They would take uh, um, biblical themes or mythological themes and uh, put them into a contemporary Florence of the Renaissance. and. So I'm sort of taking that idea and putting it into our own time. And I've been doing those for quite a few years, uh, but lately I've been focusing on uh, just traditional uh, landscapes. But I've been reading this wonderful um, uh, novel or a, a biography of Thomas Hart Benton and uh, really interested in how he uh, incorporated uh, a lot of things, culture, politics, and really wanted to encapsulate the American experience. He studied in France and uh, during the Impressionist period, and he struggled with his identity as an artist, trying to do Impressionist type of paintings. And uh, But then he came back to America and uh, found his own uh, voice, uh, his visual voice. So that's what I'm thinking. And so whatever I'm reading at the time, I'm inspired <laughs> with, as usually. Great. Well, thank you for being here. It's been wonderful to get to know you and to watch you at work. Oh, it's been it's been great to be here, and it's been wonderful to work with you all. It's been made the uh, process go very smoothly and helped me to be more organized too. <laughs> so it's been a, a wonderful experience. I thank you for inviting me. You're very welcome. Thank you.